what are you really looking for? Are you looking for a boyfriend? Are you looking for a husband? Or are you looking for an F buddy? Hey guys, it's Kels here today and I'm back with another dating video. Today I want to talk about what you're looking for. So recently I just came back from Jamaica and every time I go to Jamaica I have just the most amazing time with my friends and family. In one of the conversations that I had with one of my good good friends down there he was basically saying to me that he doesn't think I know what I'm looking for. And so I was like okay tell me tell me more because I didn't feel offended by this comment because this is somebody who really really knows me and I actually respect what he has to say quite a bit. So I was like alright tell me why you say that? Why do you say that? He basically told me that most women don't necessarily ask the questions that leads them towards what they really want. So it makes him think that they don't really know what they want or they say they want one thing but they ask the questions and behave in a way that indicates that they want something different. For example, he was saying that most women do not date for husbands. Most women date for boyfriends or F buddies. And just he went ahead and told me stories about how he would talk to women and things like that and they would ask him nothing having to do with him being a husband or him trying to qualify to be in the running to be some sort of husband. Everything was just about kind of sex is what he said or casualness. And so I was like, okay, you know, that's a good point. That's a good point because I never really went into dating with like my checklist of what I want in a husband. I know you hear that a lot from TV shows and women and things like that but I don't know how realistic that is and yeah I never really went into it with any big checklist but what he was saying was that you don't have to go into it with a big checklist but you kind of have to go into it with what you want out of the relationship in your head so that in the midst of conversation and getting to know each other you're starting to ID or like qualify or see red flags of the person. So I asked you guys are you guys dating for just a companion because you're lonely? Are you dating for F buddy or are you dating for a husband? Are you qualifying your relationships, qualifying the conversations? Not with like a ginormous checklist but just an understanding of well I want a husband and I want children so does this person that I'm dating casually, does, do they want children? Do they want to get married? Where do they see themselves in like five years? Do they see themselves with a wife or with a girlfriend or with a fiance or just with a dog in their apartment by themselves? You know and so yeah I would say just be cognizant of the questions that you're asking and be aware of the behaviors that you're seeing in the person that you're dating if they line up with what you want. But before they can line up with what you want, you kind of have to know what you're in the dating game for. And it's okay if you just want a companion or just somebody to kick it with. If you just want an F buddy, um, that's cool. But just don't take those same behaviors into the search for a husband. So anyway, I do these videos so you know you're not out here alone in this sometimes crazy dating world. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, good looking out, thanks so much. Leave a comment, question, anything you want below. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys again in my